Hey everyone, so as you know, we saw a little bit of a pullback in both gold and silver, so I went out to my local coin shop to see what they had to offer, and I came back with a few things you see here on the table, so please stay tuned. Stacking Cat Hello YouTube and welcome to the Stacking Cat channel where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold and thank you so much for watching. I greatly do appreciate it and if you could please subscribe, smash that like button and share this video, that would be awesome. I did go out to my local coin shop, Castro Valley Coin. They had some pretty good deals going on. You know we had that little pullback in gold and silver both on uh, Tuesday, August 11th of 2020. So we're a little later in the week now, and the prices are still around the same. Gold is a little fluctuating around $1,900 or so, and silver is in the $24 to $26 range. So a bit of a pullback from what we've seen earlier in the month of August and in late July. So I did notice one thing, though. As you see what I have here on the table, it has been increasingly harder to find American Gold Eagles, specifically in the quarter-ounce size and even the one ounce size. And so I went out there hoping to get a quarter ounce American Gold Eagle. And he has so many of, of these $5 half eagle pre-33 coins that I just had to go with it again. So I got a few items here. Not necessarily stacking items. The gold is. Then a few uh, kind, of, kind of numismatic pieces. All right, so I'm going to take them out of these little 2x2 two two flips, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I have all the coins back out here on the table, and I will have to start, of course, with the $5 Gold Liberty Head. Really good condition, $18.99. And like I said, I was looking for... i to steady the hand a bit. I was looking for the quarter ounce American Gold Eagle, a uh, random year. And so Castor Valley Coin, where I went to make these purchases, were fresh out of quarter ounce American Gold Eagles, and I believe the Maples as well. So this is a good secondary purchase. I have no complaints. And once again, another pre-33 fractional gold coin. The Half Eagle. Now it is a Philadelphia minted coin. As you see, there's no mint mark. However, I think they minted a little under 2 million of these, 1.9 million or so. But this one is just in phenomenal condition. You know, I looked through a bunch of them. They have a lot there. So if you're ever in the Castro Valley area or just the Bay Area in general, it's pretty centrally located across the Bay Area. Uh, check them out. They have a lot of these Liberty Head $5 Half Eagles in stock. And this one is just in great condition. It almost looks BUAU caliber. Just still has a lot of luster on it. So adding to the gold stack, of course, like I said, with gold price dropping the way it did, I wanted to take advantage of this opportunity. And so this was just the uh, best route to go for me at this particular time. Now I did pick up a couple other items. This is more in the numismatic realm, or close to it. So this is about AU or BU grade, a 1878 Morgan. Philadelphia issued. Of course, this is the first year that the Morgans were released. Still has some really good luster on it. Just in tremendous shape. You gave me a really good deal on it as well as I bought that gold coin. And this is the Seven Tail Feathers. So the 1878 was a bit of a, an anomaly. They have the eight tail feather, and they have what's called the seven over eight, where I guess the dies may have been crossed up a little bit. I do not know the specifics of that. 
but that is a mint error. If you find those, they're worth a lot more. But this one's just in really good condition. He has a lot of graded Morgans as well. So I picked that one up, got a good deal on it. And they have a pretty good uh, amount of silver right now. You know, eagles and maples are still pretty high priced uh, regardless of where you go. So if you could find one for a good deal at a low premium, go for it. Now here's one that's pretty interesting. I've always wanted this coin. It's kind of a regional round, I guess you'd have to call it. And it's almost mythical in a way. It's the Oakland Silver and Gold Coin Shop which is in Oakland, California, and they had a round commissioned for them. As you can see, three nines fine. And it is what is known as the Acorn Girl. So a local artist came up with this depiction. As you can see the acorn right above her head. and the leaves right next to her. So like I said, it's kind of a uh, a mythological coin around the, these parts. I've always known about it and just decided, you know, it was a good time to get one. And I was looking through his generic pile and one of these was sitting there. So it's nothing really uh, fantastic in terms of value. It's just a classic one ounce silver round. It's just kind of cool, you know, if you're from the San Francisco Bay Area, this is this is a, a round that a lot of people know about. And maybe it's known across the uh, country, I'm not sure. But just kind of a fun thing to have, just a regional coin. So this was kind of a different type of purchase. Um, I was hoping that the prices on silver were a little bit lower. However, the price of gold was good. I was able to get a really good condition, $18.99, $5 Half Eagle Liberty Head gold coin. So that was the big pickup of the day. And I have some exciting news to tell you guys. There's going to be a Castro Valley coin sponsored giveaway video coming up here in the next few days on the Stacking Cat YouTube channel. I was talking to the owner, Greg, and he was generous enough to offer a really nice silver coin. You guys are gonna love it. And he said, can I sponsor a giveaway? I, you know, I said, of course you can. So be on the lookout for that. I will be releasing the entry video. So push that notification bell if you are subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, Go ahead and do that. You will not want to miss this giveaway. Trust me, it is a a really nice, really nice coin that he's providing. The Castro Valley coin is providing for this giveaway. So thanks to them for that. Okay, so that's going to wrap things up for this video then. And if you'd like to see similar videos about silver with a little bit of gold, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. Smash that like button and leave a comment. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.